Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a great warlock build that you guys can use. This build, in my opinion, is fairly easy to set up and great in in-game activities like nightfalls, raids, grandmasters, and all that other end-game stuff. This build will require a warlock and a few other cool weapons. These weapons aren't too crazy, they're pretty easy to get, and there's a lot of backups that you guys can use. This build will contain the Biting Winds Bow. On this bow, I have Swashbuckler, Killing Wind, Straight Flinching, and Polymorph String with Quick Access Sling. And then on the Fusion Rifle, I have the Cartesian Coordinate, Feeding Frenzy, Warple Weapon, Liquid Coils, Clean Shot IS, Handling Mousework, and a Boss Spec. Now, I know a lot of people probably don't have 1k. If you guys have Galahorn or even Sleeper Stimulant, that works just fine. Obviously, I don't have any uh, mods on the 1k because you can't because it's an exotic, unfortunately. Now, how this build's gonna work is it's gonna revolve around Top Tree. Top Tree Nova Bomb. I'm using Axiom Bolts, Healing Rift, Burst Glide. Now, with Bloom, Voidability kills cause enemies to explode. So when you melee an Ad or a Guardian P, this is gonna cause them to explode and do damage to near people. And then the Intrapick Pull, strike an enemy with this melee ability to drain your enemy's life force and use it to recharge your grenade. This is gonna give you grenade energy back. And then Chaos Accelerant, L1, so if you press L1, overcharge your grenade, making it deadlier and more effective. And then Catalyzm, Nova Bomb travels slowly and seeks enemies, detonation, shattering to small seeker projectiles. Fire your weapon at the Nova Bomb to detonate it early. So this is going to help you track enemies and get easier kills in PvP, but it's also really great in PvE. Now, for the exotic, I'm using Eye of Another World. On this exotic, I have a Discipline mod, Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder, and then a Double Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder, and then a Taking Charge mod. What this does is it makes me become charged with light after picking up Orbs of Power, which buffs my damage. And then on my Gauntlets, I have a Discipline mod, Fastball, and then Grenade Kickstart. This is going to give you your grenade back a lot faster, trust me on that. But the main thing with this exotic is makes par or marks priority targets and then buffs ability regen. So it's going to buff your grenade and mark targets for you, which is really nice. And then I have concussive dampener on, two stack, and then I have powerful friends. And then on my boots, I have a discipline mod, invigoration, quick charge, and then ever ready because that's the debuff you get for a fusion rifle. And then on my bond, I have radiant light. This mod's currently available at 801. Go pick it up before tomorrow at reset. And then I have another discipline mod. You guys can also check on focusing lens if you guys wanted to. But yeah. I'm running 9 Discipline, 4 Mobility, 4 Rezil, 8 Recovery, as well as 8 Intellect, and 5 Strength. Great build, and this is going to help you get grenades a lot faster and maximize DPS in my opinion. Now, I hope you guys like this build. I'm going to give an example of how it works. I'll load into the Cosmo Drone and show you guys. Alright guys, we loaded into the Cosmo Drone. So, right now I currently have my grenade. I'm going to fully charge it up by holding L1. So I'm going to toss it over to a bunch of ads. Now if you look, as these things are forming into like five different Axiom Bolts, I get about a quarter of grenade energy back. Now this is what Grenade Kickstart does, as it's going to buff my grenade recharge, and then the exotic helmet I'm using is also going to buff it. So I'm getting a bunch of debuffs with the charging for the grenade. Now if you guys look, I have my Axiom Bolt already, so I'm going to throw it up again. Boom. It's forming into like five different bolts. I can keep refarming it. Now, I'm also getting grenade energy melee from this. So, what your melee does on Top Tree Nova Bomb is that actually gives you grenade energy. So, you guys can keep recharging your grenade. And Axiom Bolts are deadly in this type of meta. I'm really excited to see what brings next season's cut type of meta. I could definitely see this being more of a meta build towards the end of the season or maybe even next season. But the melee and grenade is the main crucial parts. What I like about this build is you guys can have great ad clear as well as great DPS. Like, even non-fully charged as an example, like, it still gets a good amount of kills, but I'm not getting about a quarter grenade energy, so that's kind of annoying. Definitely make sure you guys pre-charge it. Even if I melee one or two ads, I'm still getting my grenade back practically because of grenade kickstart. Like, boom, look at that. I have my nade back. I can literally just keep refarming this. Let me know your guys' opinions. I definitely want to see this thing get more love next season. I don't honestly think that this is like so game breaking, but I definitely think it's a great build. It can work in GMs, raids, and all of their cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it informed you guys in any way, a like would be greatly appreciated, and even a comment. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. Thanks for watching.